Hello, everybody. Um, uh, I'm finding more and more every day that people are still having trouble with a Nintendo 64 emulation, Nintendo 64 disk drive emulation. And uh, I'm basically here to help clear things up and show you all how to really do it. Because I was worried that the first two videos weren't as descriptive. So basically, I'm just here to help you out. So, first thing you do, go to the links in the description. I won't change them. Uh, they are these two links. Only download from these two links. If you do want to download from Luigi Blood's uh, uh, GitHub account, or GitHub page, or the official Project 64 page, that's fine, but um, this version, it's the one that I uploaded myself, and it's the one that contains all of the plugins and all of the configurations and stuff like that, so I recommend using it, and use this link for all of the ROMs. Only use these ROMs in the right uh, column, please, only use these. These will not work. These are conversions from the original dumps, and the original dumps are in .ndd, which won't work. And the new conversions are in N64, which is good, because I think you can use them on EverDrive. There's a little thing here that talks about how. Um, but yeah, but now I will show you how to get to the real situations that people are having problems with. I'm sure people have been using the correct links. Anyway, so this is Project 64 2.2. It supports 64 disk drive emulation. So uh, go into settings, click on options, go to settings, go to options. Make sure advanced settings is unchecked, this thing. Um, go to plugins. For video, this is the only one that I find really matters, other maybe than RSP, but I haven't noted anything bad. But with video, only one you should use, JBO's Direct 3D 8 1.7. That's the only one that works with me. I've tried all the other ones. None of the other ones work for me. Check Graphics HLE just for measures, good measures. Um, now, let's open the ROMs. See, with um, this, if you try to open a .ndd ROM, it won't work. It says it's not a valid ROM. So instead, go and find your conversion ROM. I'm using Doshin the Giant because I love Doshin. Open it up. I'm going to pause it. Oh, not that. Pause it. Um, um, and I'm going to show you what I did. Go into settings again. Go into configure Doshin the Giant. Change the memory size to 8 megabytes. And the default save type, it doesn't matter because you can't really save on these conversion ROMs. Maybe someday in the future you will be able to, but I'm not sure. So for now, just change the memory size to 8 megabytes. That's all that matters. After you do that, you just do a hard reset. And after a while, come on, sometimes it does this. You may need to open it back up again or pause. Pause. Okay. Hold on. I'll try to fix this. Okay. Uh, I think this will work. Yep. Okay. Um, now you may be worried what I did in between those pauses. Trust me, it was nothing. I was having a problem with Project 64, it was not with the ROM. Um, uh, sometimes after you are done configuring everything, you need to reset Project 64 a couple times, which is good. Um, but yeah, after just some um, random fiddling, trust me, nothing between the pauses happened. All I did was close the annoying pop-up things, like these little commands and stuff started popping up saying error messages that was nothing trust me all I did was close those reopen project 64 and go into the ROM I swear nothing else changed I didn't change any other settings nothing didn't run it a different way nothing okay good um yeah uh I'm sorry if it doesn't work really sorry maybe um a couple ways you could fix it cuz 
I know for a fact it runs in 32-bit mode and in 32-bit systems because I had a 32-bit um, computer and it ran just fine. It was Windows 7 32-bit. It was totally fine. It ran perfect. Um, I switched over to a 64-bit version, 64-bit um, uh, Windows 8.1, and it works just fine here. Um, if you still are having problems, uh, I recommend running this program as administrator and applying. If that doesn't fix anything, uh, then and if you're in Windows 8, run in compatibility mode with Windows 7, see if that works. If nothing else works, I'm really sorry. Hopefully they'll patch it because it's really just very buggy. But uh, I really hope this helped. Um, if this helped, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Hopefully I will start doing more interesting things other than tutorials and setup videos. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see more from me, more content. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or any issues at all, please, please comment in the comment section because I really want to help you guys because I know you guys are having immense amounts of problems like fatal errors and I'm really sorry and I don't know how to fix those exactly but hopefully this video will have helped but please please comment down below if you have problems I will try to get back to you as fast as I can school just started so I probably won't be able to respond to them until like like 3.30 or something but please if you have any comments or questions or problems do not be afraid to comment and please 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 comment and message me if you need help all right thanks i'll see you all next time if need be so yeah goodbye